Hello and welcome to our Ultima Island Princess ship tour. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more cruise related content. We start on deck 5 in the Princess Plaza. It's centrally located in the mid of the ship. With the gold detailing and marble floor, this atrium is perfectly princess. This area can be accessed from decks 5, 6, 7 and 8. This is an inviting plaza style atrium in the heart of the ship. Here you will often find entertainment from musicians to towel folding. Day or night the atrium is a great place to grab a drink and relax. During the captain's welcome the Princess Plaza is also home to the Champagne Waterfall. Just off the Princess Plaza on deck 5 is guest services. There's a member of crew available 24 hours a day and they're there to help you answer any of those pressing onboard questions you might have. Just off the plaza on deck 5 you'll find the first of Island Princess's main dining rooms. The Bordeaux dining room is an included venue and is open for breakfast and dinner. And on sea days you'll find lunches served as well as afternoon tea. For those passengers that have booked a reserve collection mini suite, your dining room is here. Part of the Bordeaux restaurant is sectioned off and it's identifiable by the grey tablecloths. Tucked away on deck 5 just off the Princess Plaza is the Captain's Circle. This is the place to go if you have any questions regarding your Princess Loyalty status. On deck 5 you'll also find the home of one of Princess Cruise's favourites, Good Spirits. In this venue you'll find cocktails are prepared with inspiring stories by skilled bartenders. Good Spirits is a firm favourite with cocktail fans. This venue is the perfect location for a pre or post dinner cocktail. The second of Island Princess's main dining rooms is located on deck 6. The Provence dining room is almost identical to the Bordeaux dining room. This venue is always open for evening meals, but it can also be open on sea days for afternoon tea and lunch. On deck 6 are the Shops of Princess. Located just off the atrium you'll find Meridian Bay. This store sells an extensive array of different watches, perfect for those watch enthusiasts. On the opposite side of the atrium is Calypso Cove. This store sells an extensive collection of Princess merchandise as well as clothing items. In addition to this tucked away around the corner is the duty free section. Also on sea days a number of pop-up stores are available. Located just off the atrium is Effie, the jewellery store on board. Deck 6 is also home to Ocean Front. Members of the Princess team are available and they're there to answer any of your questions you may have about your medallion or the Princess app. In addition to this you can also buy accessories to customise your medallion. On deck 6 is the Princess Casino and Bar. Here you will find a good selection of different slot machines, giving potential players a fantastic opportunity to win big. Although this casino is smaller than you'll find on newer Princess ships, it still has a number of tables. The bar can be accessed from inside the casino and also out on the walkway. This bar is open from early in the morning offering light refreshments as well as freshly brewed coffee. The photo gallery on deck 6 is the place to go to pick up all of those souvenir photos that have been taken by the onboard photography team. In classic traditional style all photos are displayed on boards during the evening so you can have a little browse. Explorer's Lounge located on deck 6 is one of Island Princess's most popular venues. This venue plays host to a wide variety of different activities and events. You'll find talks from guest lecturers, destination experts as well as the crew and also bingo with Fortuna Luck. During the evenings Explorer's Lounge becomes the late night venue on board. Early evening you'll find those famous princess game shows 
And later on, there could be live music, comedians, karaoke, and the late night disco. Along the corridor outside Explorer's Lounge, you'll find a number of comfy armchairs with tables. These offer some beautiful sea views and are perfect for just sitting back, relaxing, and perhaps reading a book. At the aft of Deck 6 is the Fitness Centre. This small but well-equipped area is ideal for those of you wishing to shed a few of those cruise pounds. The fitness centre is free to use and children over the age of 16 are allowed to use the facilities as long as they're accompanied by an adult. At the front of Deck 7 is the Princess Theatre. Classic in style and decor, it can hold 922 passengers. Accessible seating can be found by the entrance. The tiered seating allows for good views of the main stage. Production shows by the onboard cast as well as guest entertainers all perform in the Princess Theatre. There are usually two performances nightly giving plenty of opportunity for all passengers to see the show. The Wheelhouse Bar on Deck 7 is a nautical themed venue. It is an incredibly popular location on the ship with its comfortable seating and relaxed atmosphere. It has a large dance floor and plays host to live music during the evenings. Like many of the other venues on board Island Princess, the Wheelhouse Bar has its own exclusive cocktail menu. During the day, this venue is home to dance classes and Zumba sessions. The Wheelhouse Bar is also where you'll find the Afternoon Trivia, which is incredibly popular on Island Princess and it's advised you get there early. Churchill's Cigar Lounge is one of the designated smoking areas on board Island Princess. It's a small area that's conveniently located just off the main atrium. Located just off the atrium, you will find another of Princess Cruise's firm favourites, Crooner's Bar. Here you can sip your drink whilst listening to a pianist sing acoustic tunes. This venue certainly has a sophisticated atmosphere and its own specialist cocktail menu. On Deck 7 you'll find the Wedding Chapel, Hearts and Minds. This venue is a perfect location for those of you wishing to get married or for renewing those vows. Princess Cruises offer a variety of different celebration packages. Please be mindful that these all incur an additional charge. Deck 7 is also home to the Fine Arts Gallery. Here you will have a chance to view an extensive selection of art. Like what you see? Look out for the art auctions during your cruise. Next to the art gallery on the promenade deck is Sabatini's. Sabatini's offers speciality Italian cuisine on an a la carte menu. The food here is of a high standard and is plentiful. The venue itself offers a classic Italian style. There are a small number of window seats available and as this is a speciality restaurant, it incurs an additional charge. Next to Sabatini's on Deck 7, you'll find the Bayou Cafe, another of Island Princess's speciality restaurants. Originally serving Cajun and Southern style food, the Bayou Cafe now serves a more standard crown grill menu that you'll find on other Princess ships. The Bayou Cafe also has its own entertainment area and bar where you'll find live music nightly. On Deck 7, there's the Promenade. There's some seating available and it's the perfect place to get some sea air while sailing. Unfortunately, the Promenade on Island Princess is not a full wraparound. You can walk across the front of the ship, but this is closed off so you don't get those forward-facing sea views. Just off the main atrium on Deck 8, you'll find the Internet Cafe. There are a number of internet-enabled computers that passengers are able to use. Please be aware, these do incur an additional charge. On Deck 8 is the Library. There are a number of books and board games available for passengers to use. 
Also on Deck 8, you'll find the Shore Excursions Desk. If you're looking to find out information about your ports of call or book any princess excursions, this is the place to come. Island Princess Future Cruise Centre is also located on Deck 8. The friendly princess staff are available to answer any of your future cruise questions and it's always a good idea to pop in and see if there are any deals on offer. On Deck 8 you'll find a very inconspicuous door. It leads to an outdoor space that is often incredibly quiet and is one of only a few areas of the ship that offers a wake view. Deck 10 forward also leads to a beautiful outdoor space that gives you unobstructed forward-facing views. During our cruise on Island Princess we stayed in a standard balcony on Deck 10. To see our full cabin tour and review, click the link on screen or in the description. On most passenger decks where you'll find your stateroom, there's also a laundromat. These are well appointed and offer free ironing facilities. There are also a number of washing machines and tumble dryers available and tokens for these need to be purchased using your medallion. You can also purchase washing soap, bleach and softeners using your medallion. Deck 11 Forward also has its own viewing area. This is located directly above the Deck 10 Forward viewing area and again offers spectacular forward facing views and it's located directly under the bridge. During our Island Princess cruise we were lucky enough to be invited onto the bridge. This was a fascinating and informative experience that detailed the workings of Island Princess. To find out more about our bridge tour, click the link on screen or in the description. Towards the aft of Island Princess on Deck 12 is Camp Discovery, the first of Island Princess's children's clubs. Located here is the treehouse for ages 3 to 7 and the lodge for ages 8 to 12. This space has been specially designed for the ultimate time at sea. With a selection of games, arts and crafts and video game consoles, there's always something to keep your little ones entertained. And there's specially trained staff on hand. At the very front on deck 14 is the Horizon Court Buffet. Open for breakfast, lunch, dinner and those in-between snacks, the Horizon Court Buffet has an extensive selection of different treats and foods available. There's free tea and coffee as well as lemonade and water and at breakfast juices are also available. The venue is large, casual and relaxed and there's ample seating available. Due to its position at the front of the ship, it also offers some great panoramic views. Within the Horizon Court, you'll find the Amuleto Italian Cafe. It specialises in cakes and pastries. Premium teas and coffees are available here also. For the health conscious among you, the juice bar is also located here. Premium juices are available to purchase and if you have a Princess Plus or Premier package, they're included. As you make your way out onto the Lido deck on deck 14, you'll come across the bar and pizzeria. The Lido bar is the perfect place to pick up a cocktail. And the Princess Pizzeria is the perfect place for a quick bite in the day or at night while enjoying movies under the stars. Each day they serve pepperoni and margarita plus a daily special. The main pool is located on deck 14. The deck consists of one large pool and three hot tubs. Surrounding the main pool there are a number of sun lounges. Either side of the pool you'll find shaded areas with tables, chairs and also some lounges. The Lido deck also hosts that famous Princess Sail Away party. Overlooking the main pool area there's a large TV screen and by night this turns into movies under the stars. The lounges of the Lido deck are transformed allowing you to enjoy the movie in comfort. As we move towards the aft of the ship on deck 14, we come to the conservatory. This is Island Princess's indoor pool area. 
Located in the conservatory on deck 14 is Swirls. This is where you can pick up gelato and those premium desserts. There's ample seating surrounding Swirls allowing you to enjoy those desserts. The focal area of the conservatory is the Lotus Pool. This consists of a large pool and two hot tubs. As the Lotus Pool is under cover, it's the perfect spot for when the weather isn't that great. Surrounding the pool there are a number of tables and chairs as well as comfortable lounges. The Lotus Pool also has its own dedicated bar, the Lotus Bar. There's ample seating available. Deck 14 is also the location of the Lotus Spa. Within this area you'll find heated beds, a number of steam rooms. This is the perfect area to relax and unwind and we found the staff incredibly helpful. Within the spa there's also a fully equipped hair salon which caters for men and women. There's also a fully qualified manicurist on hand. Island Princess also offer teeth whitening and facial rejuvenation. The spa also offers a wide range of different treatments from massages to facials and wraps. All of the services and treatments available in the Lotus Spa incur an additional charge. Island Princess's Teens Club, the Beach House, is located on Deck 14. This venue caters for sailors aged between 13 and 17 years old. Deck 14 forward is the perfect place to get some of those forward facing sea views. Weather permitting you'll also find a number of sun loungers located here. On deck 15 starboard side you'll find the smokers station. This is a large open area with tables and chairs and it is a designated smoking area. Moving towards the Lido pool on deck 15 is the bar and grill. There are a number of bar stools allowing you to sit at the bar and order your drinks in person. The grill serves a choice of burgers, hot dogs plus those fries covered in cheese. All the food is freshly made to order. The grill is sure to be the solution for those cravings. On both sides of the Lido deck on deck 15 you'll find sun loungers. From here you'll also be able to take part in any of those poolside activities. Many passengers also make use of this area as a walking and jogging spot. The Platinum Studio on deck 15 is Island Princess's Photography Studio. From deck 15 you can also access the upper area of the conservatory. This overlooks the main Lotus Pool and there are a number of table and chairs available. Arts and crafts events are usually hosted here and for those of you that love table tennis this is the place to be. Towards the aft of deck 15 you'll have the opportunity to take unobstructed photos of the Island Princess sign. At the very aft of deck 15 on Island Princess is the Sanctuary. This offers a relaxing alternative to the activities and entertainment available elsewhere throughout the ship. The Sanctuary is a quiet outdoor spot for you to escape to when you simply want to relax and ignore everything else for a little while. The area of the ship is all about health and wellness in a completely stress-free setting. It's also adults only which only adds to the tranquil experience. To access the Sanctuary you'll need to book your spot and pay an additional charge. On deck 16 forward is the Splash Pool. This large open space includes a splash pool as well as a number of sun loungers. As it's located at the front of the ship you'll also be treated to those forward facing sea views. To the aft of deck 16 and only accessible via deck 15 you'll find centre court. This area contains a large enclosed sports court where you can play tennis, basketball and pickleball. There's also a large chess set and chess board and there's also a number of traditional deck games available. All of the sporting equipment is available free of charge. 
Even though Island Princess is an older princess ship, she has been upgraded to make sure that all of that modern technology is still available. From the medallion, to the app, to the interactive screens on board, during the course of our cruise, everything worked seamlessly. Thank you for watching our full Island Princess ship tour. We hope it's given you a great insight into what the ship has to offer. If you found this video helpful and informative, press that like button. If you've got any comments or questions, just pop them in the box below and we'll get back to you. If you'd like more information about what it's like to sail on Island Princess, we've got our Iceland and Greenland vlog series available on our YouTube channel now. Thanks for watching. We've got lots more content available on our YouTube channel, so press that subscribe button. If you're interested in receiving daily updates, we're available on most social media platforms. Just search for Tom and Dom Travel.